Join in with Prophet H. Walker and True Life Pentecost Church every second weekend of each month. Saturday service will be at 701 Henry Street in Savannah, Georgia at 7.30 p.m. Followed by Sunday service will be at Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4 o'clock p.m. We're looking forward to seeing you and be blessed. You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Life Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And right now it's in West Africa, I believe in the small country of uh, Guinea, I believe as I pronounce it. So. All these woes are coming to pass on a wicked generation because the Bible says in um, first time the whole world lied and witness. And people have these preachers tonight bring out the events and the warning to people to get right before God comes back.
again to have the privilege of worshiping him yes. and serving him. Yes. Brothers and sisters, it's a privilege That's to right. worship God. That's right. It's a privilege to come to a sanctified church. That's right, brother. Hallelujah. So many yes. people feel the false church is running over. But to come to a holiness church that God has set the standard. It's a pleasure. Oh God, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. It's a pleasure. Hallelujah. I believe the, 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 the uh, Bells of Joy said um, peace and sweet and sweet rest. If you give it all at the altar of sacrifice. Now, when you give everything over to God, you're supposed to feel something sweet inside of you. Burdens have to be lifted. That's right. Yes. Don't worry about no difficult situation. Yes. No troubled times. Yes. Hallelujah. No sick and affliction. Yes, Lord. God is a healer today, and I've told you that That's in right. past. If you stand by the word of God, he'll work out everything. Yes. He'll heal your body. Yes. Stop an unnatural blood flow. Yes. Glory. He'll yes. heal diabetes. Yes. And he'll lift a wounded soul and touch a broken heart. Yes. yes. You might come in here one way, but you got to be about another way. Yes. Sad and burdened down, but you don't be sad and burdened down. Glory. You give everything Hallelujah. over to the Lord. Yes. If you notice the events, y'all be seated. That's right. If you notice the events that have taken place uh -huh. just in the last few days, yeah. a mudslide yeah. a few days ago. Yes. They're still looking for people. That's right. Earthquake, I believe, in South America. Yeah. Eight on the Richter scale. Yeah. And they're yet waiting for the aftershocks to come in. Amen. And today at, at Fort Hood, home of the, uh, I believe the original 2nd Armored Division was uh, stationed there. Had got a shooting. Don't know who doing the shooting. Some, one, one killed and so many wounded at a military base. The confusion that's on the land is intentionally by Satan because the people have turned away from God. Amen. But I thank the Lord that we have come to church to lift up the name of Jesus Amen. and to worship him and not to be burdened down or sad or sorrowful about nothing. Amen. How can we be sad when Amen. Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith? Amen. How can we be sad when he said, I'll never leave you, enough forsake you? How can Amen. we be sad? Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. When he's our all in all. Amen. Oh, praise God. I'm just overjoyed and happy. I thank God for Elder Peace Bond being with us. We're going to hear some words from, him, uh, from, from Elder Peace Bond after the panel. And I uh, thank the Lord for uh, our dear family from across the ocean. Yes, Lord. Uh, give me a right quick uh, uh, Jeremiah 23 and verse 3. 23. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries. Where the remnant of them. my flock from all countries. Yes. Amen. The prophecy is being fulfilled, and y'all don't even know it. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. God is going to split the sky sooner than we think Amen. and catch away his church. Brothers and sisters, we've got to be ready when he comes. We can't be getting ready. We've got to be ready when he comes. He's not coming back for a church getting ready. Amen. He's coming back for a church that's ready. So we have come to church to first lift up the name of Jesus and to get all uh, complex situations out of our mind and out of our, out of our being so that we can praise God and worship God and lift him up. When God is lifted up, that's when the blessings come down. Oh, hallelujah. When God is exalted, that's when favor comes. When God's made happy, that's when he makes his people happy. Praise God. This is spiritual warfare. Y'all got to catch up with this in the spirit. Amen, amen. We do serve uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, the one God eternal, and the Lord who made the worlds. And I want to say to uh, uh, the person who emailed me last night, uh, it's not me that don't know who Jesus is, it's you. Amen, prophet. He asked me a question. Said, who did Jesus pray to? I said he prayed to the Father. That's right. yeah. But where was the Father? The Father was in heaven. But the Father also was in him. Amen. Amen. 
And who is the father? Philip said, show us the father. He didn't say, show us the son of God. All right, brother. Yeah. Show us the father. And Jesus right, said, well, I've been so long time with you and you don't yeah. know who I am. When you see me, you see the father. Now I want to say to my friend who emailed me, now I got a question I want you to answer. In Isaiah 45 and 5, the Bible says, uh, I am the Lord. There is none else. There's no God beside me. Which one of these three gods are speaking? All right, brother. That's right. Amen. Praise God. That's right. All right, we're going to call the panel up. Uh, let's call up uh, Elder Wagner. Uh, get me uh, 24th chapter Matthew. Elder Wagner. Elder Marshall. Elder Kevin. And we're going to have Minister Kenya on the panel tonight. I believe that's four. All right, the moderator, let's have, uh, let's have, uh, Elder Ricky be the moderator. Amen. All right. Go. In Matthew 24th chapter, from around verse 14. 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. We Th this gospel of the kingdom and I, I've said this before, I don't want to say this again. Brothers and sisters, there is nothing that matters but the kingdom of God. We are secondary figures, anointed and blessed by God to inherit his eternal kingdom. But nothing matters but the kingdom of God and our servitude unto him. Read. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, Stand in the holy place. When you see all this trouble coming about, stay in the church of God. Amen. Stay in the church. Amen. Don't let the devil discourage you to such a fact that you're going to need the church. Right. Don't let no loved one try to entice you to leave the church of God. And if you leave the church of God, when you get sick and afflicted in your body, can you call that loved one to help you? Can you call that loved one to heal you? Can you call that loved one to bless you? And then when you lay down and give up the ghost, you got to stand for the judgment throne of God. Does that loved one have a heaven to send you to? Now, I'm not saying you hate nobody, dislike nobody, love everybody, love your natural family, but you got to draw a line between your natural family and the kingdom of God and God's family. Amen. We are God's family. Amen. And we got to be proud of it. Amen. Can't be sad about it. Got to be proud of it. Amen. God is our father. Yes. And we love him so. Yes. And everything else must fall into its proper place. Yes. All right, Matthew 24 chapter again, pick up. Finish with it. Stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the Nothing field. in the natural matters. Don't try to hold on to something in the natural. Amen. If you're on the roof, of the, on the top of the roof, or if you're on the mountain top, if you're in an elevated position, yeah. and anytime you say you're in an elevated position, don't come down. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Stay on top. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. David fled to the hills. Yes. How come? Which cometh his help. Yes. My help cometh from the Lord. Yes. All right, now with that in mind, and all the events that have taken place, we're going to have these panelists be seated. And uh, from uh, my left, uh, Minister Kenya, Amen. Elder Marshall, our moderator, Elder Ricky Smith. Elder Kevin and Elder Wagner. With that in mind, amen, let's turn it over to uh, the moderator. Oh, before we do, they have some praise reports here. God of Samaya, $40. Elder Wagner, $20. Praise God. Praise the Lord, you like? Lord. Amen. Give honor to Christ who is my life. Amen. Honor to our great prophet, one prophet, H. Walker. Yeah. Yeah. Like Lady Mother Walker in the absence. 
thank God again uh, for the panel tonight. Again, thank God for Elder Pound being with us, uh, Elder Collins' family being with us. Amen. God is doing great things at Chulak Pentecost Church. Amen. He's yet still blessing. Amen. And again, uh, thank God again for a very important panel tonight. And our text was Matthew, the 24th chapter. I'll be Prophet Brungo, verse 15. I want to drop down to verse 7. Verse 6. And you should hear of wars and rumor of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And Prophet brung out uh, the earthquake that hit Chile, I mean yesterday, the earthquake that hit California, I believe last week, yeah. and I believe the other earthquake was in Panama. Now, this happened um, late last night, I believe early this morning, amen. So three earthquakes in the last week or so, God's trying to get the people's attention, amen. You also have the um, the virus, and the Bible calls it um, pestilence here, Ebola. Ebola is, uh, without a doubt, uh, arguably the most feared and worst virus ever known to mankind. It has a 90% mortality rate, and right now it's in West Africa, I believe, in a small country of uh, Guinea, I believe that's how I pronounce it. So, all these woes are coming to pass on a wicked generation because the Bible says in um, First John, the whole world lied and witness. And we're going to have these preachers tonight bring out the events and the warning to people to get right before God comes back. So, uh, again, to my uh, immediate left is Elder Marshall. To his left is uh, Minister Kenyon. To my right, amen, is um, Elder Collins, and to his right is Elder Wagner. We're going to start with Minister Kenyon, amen. amen. Praise the Lord, Saints. Praise, Praise the Lord again, Saints. I'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to God Almighty, the name of Jesus, the one true God, according to the scriptures. I give all honor, double honor to Zayah Prophet, Prophet Bishop Bates Walker, to First Lady -Lay Mother Walker, a true man and woman of God. I believe the word says esteem them very highly for their work's sake, amen. And I give honor to what honor is due. I want to let you go to the book of Matthew, chapter 24. I want to jump in at verse mm, 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall arise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Don't you see that right today? Amen. The T.D. Jakes, the Joel Osteens, the Joyce Myers, and the rest of them devils. Amen. They preaching for money. Yeah. I believe the Bible uh, speaks about preaching for hire. They're not worried about a person's soul. They just worry about their collection back. Amen. Amen. And also, the, all the events that's happening in the world today earthquakes in diverse places, wars and rumors of wars, uh, mudslides, uh, all the, the mess that's going on in the world, but yet people, they don't realize that these are the end times, these, these are the signs of the time, if you will, for lack of a better term. And also in verse, verse 11, many false prophets shall arise, as I first stated, we have a true prophet. I thank God for a true prophet on the day. I was out sidewalk preaching today, and yes, many will mock and laugh and scoff, but yet some got convicted by the word of God. It's not about, I believe God himself spoke, straight is the gate and narrow is the way that lead to life, and few that be that can find it, but many enter into the Broadway. I'm not talking about New York. I'm talking about the Broadway to destruction. I'd rather choose the straight and narrow way. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. If you choose the broad way, you're going to end up in a place that, that you can't come from. The Catholics teach a crossroad, and you be in that place for so many uh, years, you get out. No. What, the Bible said there's a great goal fixed. And once you go out on the hill, you can't get up to heaven. And once you're in heaven, you can't go to hell. So we're we going to bring out many scriptures and send a warning. It's not the Oh, y'all judge it. Yes, we were proven. We were with the authority that the word of God gives us. 
do the prophet of God. We're not to judge you, throw, throw you in hell, but we're judging to correct you, to warn you, to admonish you, to not go to this place. Pray for me as I pray for you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord that you like. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord that you like. Praise the Lord. Give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. Yeah. Give a double honor to our prophet, Prophet H. Walker, yeah. and their late lady, Mother Walker, giving the honor that's due today. Uh, I want to take my scriptures from uh, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 24. I'm going to pick up around verse 15, and it states, When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken by of Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Now, Jesus is making you know, a clear statement. Uh, about the last days and we are in these last days right now where you see a type all type of abomination you see all type of wickedness that's taking place in america today you see the sodomites and the lesbians trying to uh take over america you see plenty plenty of false preachers as never before you see them on television you see them on radio and sing lately like every time you cut on the channel there go a false preacher it's, it's just all type of wickedness that's taking place and many many are li leaving the faith but Jesus gave a, a clear instruction, say you got to be in the holy place. In other words, you got to be in the place of protection. You got to be in the true church of God to be saved. And it's, it's very important. Now in Matthew, uh, Isaiah, the uh, second chapter, verse uh, three, kind of give a similarity. It says that many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God of Jacob. And he will teach us his ways, and he will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. So we have to learn the ways of God in order for us to inherit the kingdom of God. You can't learn nothing from God going to a false church or following a false preacher. You got to come into the true holiness church and follow a true prophet, Prophet H. Walker, which is God's final messenger that's teaching and guiding the people. And a lot of people don't want to catch hold on the fact that he is God's final messenger. But all you have to do is line up his character. I believe the Bible said, try the spirits to see if they are God. All you got to do is examine his lifestyle, and you will find out that he is the true prophet of God. And we are the true church of God. All you got to do is look at the sisterhood. Sisterhood, where the veil covering. We don't practice the Easter and the Christmas and the Lent. We don't practice heathen festivals. Sisters don't wear pants. We take the Nazarite. All, you see all this, you know we the true church. So brothers and sisters, it's time to come out of false religion. Amen. Time to come out of these Baptist churches, all these hypocrite preachers. You, my goodness, all these false preachers, pedophile preacher this, and a uh, sodomite pastor that, and lesbian preach over here. This is ridiculous, brothers and sisters. God condemned this type of lifestyle in the word of God. It's very plain. It's time to uh, repent and come into the true holiness church before it's everlasting too late. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Say praise the Lord, true life. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's truly glad and an honor and a privilege, amen, amen, to be in God's house, to be in God's house of prayer. Yeah. Amen. A place where we come to reverence our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. I sure don't count it a light thing. Amen. Yeah. He is a prayer answering God if you are yeah. of a pure heart. Amen. amen. And with that, all honor to our Savior, whose name is Jesus Christ. Yeah. Double honor to our leader and Prophet H. Walker, Amen. and his help made Mother Walker, Amen. and to all the saints of God coming out, pressing your way. Amen. Amen. I'm so honored uh, and excited about my family coming all the Amen. way from the ocean, Amen. my beautiful Amen. wife and children. Amen. Amen. It truly is a miracle, something I've been praying for, and the Bible does say that he is able to do above and abundantly above all yes. that we ask or think Amen. according Amen. to the power that worketh in us. True like we have power, amen. That's why it's very important that we keep the amen. unity, amen. I believe the Bible says where two or three are gathered in my name, yes. there he is in the midst, yes. amen. So Jesus Christ is right here. The spirit of Christ amen. is right here at True Life, amen. amen. So with that, I thank God for the text, amen, coming from Matthew 24, the 24th chapter, amen, when it's speaking about the abomination of desolation, amen, uh, uh, and for us to stand in the holy place, of course, amen, uh, we must do these things, amen. Uh, the Bible is specific. It does say wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places. It talks about pestilences, amen. amen. I heard about a pestilence called super lice, amen. They had super gonorrhea, yes. 
Amen. Now they got super lice. Amen. It's all a pestilence. Amen. If it's a, a pestilence, a locust, or, 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 or like these new uh, Ebola, like w which was mentioned by Elder Ricky. Amen. Uh, earthquakes in diverse places. Amen. As it was mentioned, the big earthquake in Chile today, uh, followed by a tsunami. Yes. Amen. The Bible says in the 24th chapter, once again, of Matthew, I want to pick up in 33, it says, So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, and even at the doors. Amen. What things? These signs that we're talking about, wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, amen. Yeah. I believe it says wars, amen. <laughs> North Korea been shooting missiles at South Korea, right. amen. You see what's going on in, 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 in Russia, yes. Putin getting ready. My goodness. But think about it. How would uh, uh, Obama really get the victory over Putin when Putin don't play when it comes to sodomites and lesbians? Amen. Amen. But Obama allows it. Yes. Amen. So, uh, you know, he's an adversary to Israel. He's an adversary to the United States. Right. Amen. Uh, uh, but nevertheless, this is in the word of God. These are all signs. It says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. So I thank God for the word of God. Amen. Because it's from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. It, it will not pass away. It is the foundation of, of how one must conduct themselves in the house of God. Of how one must live holy, a uh, quality of character, so that we will uh, hear Jesus say, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Amen. I was looking about this earthquake in Chile, and I just want to mention that we have somebody here. My family was in one of the most, their country, one of the most uh, devastating earthquakes in the last 100 years. And for them to come all this way, that is a sign to this church. That is a sign to this church. And with these events just happening with this big old earthquake in Chile, amen, amen the Bible says men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after these things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. The powers of heaven are shaking. Amen. You see, immorality, I believe even London just accept, uh, uh, London is accepting for sodomites and lesbians to get married. Amen. And I believe it just recently passed in Michigan. Yes. Amen. So the powers of heaven are shaking right now. Amen. And it says men's hearts failing them for fear. Yes. Every time a big earthquake hits, if you read closely, someone always has a heart attack. Amen. That's because men's heart will fail them. Yes. Amen. For fear. They're so fearful they have heart attacks. But it's in the word of God. Amen. He said he'll show signs in the sun, in the moon, in the stars, on the yes. earth. Amen. Perplexity of nations. Yes. We're living in the last times. You must repent. Be water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you can't make it to Spartanburg, follow along. Amen. But one thing you have to do, you have to live holy. Without which no man shall see the Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is soon to return. Amen. I say praise the Lord. Praise Have a good time. Amen. Wonderful time. Anytime the truth of God is spoken, amen, you ought to rejoice and be glad, amen, that God is speaking to his people. Amen. I give honor to Jesus Christ. He truly is the head of my life. Double and all honor to his great prophet, fearless leader, prophet Bishop Adrian Walker. Beautiful elect lady, Mother Walker. We bless God for her and all the saints of God. Coming from the scriptures in Matthew, the 24th chapter, Amen. and I like to begin reading in verse 23. It says, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets. And you know, right now, we have a multitude of false preachers calling themselves preachers of the of, of God of the God of glory. But any time a preacher will not tell you the truth concerning your own salvation, salvation is found in the Bible, and every man is going to be judged by that one Bible, amen, that teaches us that you've got to repent of your sins and be water baptized in the precious name of Jesus Christ. So you got preachers out here who are lining their pocketbooks, amen, Bentleys, and uh, I mean, they are just uh, on fire for themselves and not for God. And God gives you a warning about these preachers, and the question is from the apostles, when shall the end be? And that's why Prophet Walker is telling people right now, because we've got to let people know, amen, because this thing is getting close to the end, maybe closer than we think, amen. amen. And I believe the Bible says, um, and some have compassion, 
and others saved with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating the garment spotted by the flesh. So we've got to tell people, even if it scares them half to death. Amen. Man. Why? Because nobody should want to go to hell. Man. Amen. And the signs of the times we're seeing right now has been forestated, amen, about these um, earthquakes all over the world. Amen. And I was looking at an article about a preacher, so-called preacher, that was standing in the pulpit, and he told his congregation, he said, now right after the service, I'm going to tell y'all something. And he let people go home, and others he let stay. And soon after the service, he told them about an affair he had, amen, with uh, a, a, a woman, some woman, amen. And right after he got through telling his little story about his affair, he fell out dead, graveyard dead in the pulpit, amen, because God's, God's judgment is on sin, amen. You can't do whatever you want to do. And call yourself a preacher, amen, and think God's not going to judge that. In California alone, yesterday, I looked this up, and talking about these earthquakes, which is mentioned in Matthew 24, amen. 55 earthquakes just yesterday. Over 70 in the last three days. And how many of you, some of, you, some of us are from Michigan, <clears throat> they had a sinkhole, amen, in Michigan, amen, and um, I believe it was in Detroit, Michigan, a giant sinkhole, Ended up large enough to swallow two cars, 30 Man. feet wide, 16 to 18 feet deep, in the middle of Linwood Street yep. and Monterey Avenue. Now, many of you know about that area, Amen. And I believe I called Prophet, and he told me that um, uh, that uh, Aretha Franklin's father had a church not too far from that. See, listen, God is tired of the foolishness. Amen. 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 The Bible says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. So we're talking. You know, it's one thing to go to hell by yourself, but these preachers are taking multitudes with them. Amen. Why y'all going to them false churches? What is something about them you like? Amen. But it's something about holiness we love. Amen. And that's why you're listening to us. That's why you're watching us, because you know we got the truth. Amen. So if you want to be saved, you got to get right with God. Contact Prophet Walker, and he'll tell you exactly what to do to be saved. Pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord once again. Praise the Lord. I want to go to the book of James, chapter 1, yeah. starting at verse 21. And it reads, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving or cheating your own selves. Amen. For if any man, for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer. He or she is likened like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. In other words, let me break this down real quick. Verse 21. This, first of all, they teach him one saved, always saved. That's how you got the Psalmites and the lesbians in the church in the first place. With, by his foolishness. Amen. How, if you save, you can still live a life of sin. It's impossible. Amen. Praise God. You can't mix oil and water, amen, can you? No, you can't. Amen. So how can you put, I believe the word says you can't put old wine skin to new uh, wine skin, or you can't bring something old into something that's new. It, it just ain't, it, it's not going to jail that way, praise God. Amen. So amen. lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of not in this. Lay away, once you baptize in Jesus' name, old things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. Yeah. Now, they don't teach that in the false church. I remember last year, T.D. Jakes kicked an elder of the church out. They had put him out because he wrote a book condemning T.D. Jakes because he wrote about what T.D. Jakes was doing with the tithes and offerings. Mm -hmm. So he here up and, well, we're going to put a hush on that and put the man out of church. And now he blasting T.D. Jakes. See, that's what people get for following a hypocrite like that. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Then graph the word. The Bible. The Bible is able to save your souls. Verse 22. But be ye doers of the word, not hearers only. When you hear the word of God, you have to do something about the word of God. You just can't hear it and not transform or conform. You must be transformed or conform. Man. In your mind first, yeah. then in your day-to-day -day life, you must live holy. Yeah. In this present-day world, I believe the book of Titus states that. Amen. Amen. In verse 23, 
For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer is likened unto a man, a woman, behold his or her natural face in the glass. In other words, the same carnality you was faced with before you were saved, you're still reflecting that now. If you don't obey the word of God. I believe the Bible said obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes. If you're not going to obey the word of God, why sacrifice? Yes. All these false churches out there sacrifice, but they're not obedient. Amen. You must be obedient to the word of God. Yes. True light is obedient to the word of God. Yes. True light is obedient yes. to the prophet of God. Yes. That's why we bless and we do a great things in the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You like? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank God for all the powerful words from all the elders. Uh, I want to go to 2 Timothy, the third chapter. Yes. Uh, I'm going to start in verse 1. It said, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, mm -hmm. for men shall be lovers of their own selves, mm -hmm. covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, mm -hmm. without natural affection. Now, I want to stop right here. <laughs> you know, uh, I brought this out on the radio blog about a few weeks ago concerning this uh, thing they got in the schools uh, in uh, Hawaii. Now, Hawaii is the 15th, if I'm not mistaken, the 15th uh, state to allow same-sex marriage. Yes. Now, just recently, they got this thing made up where uh, they can have a uh, sodomite education where they can teach young boys between the age of 11 and 13 to be sodomites and to accept that type of behavior. Now, first of all, what in the world do an 11-year-old and a 12-year-old and a 13-year-old know anything about that type of behavior? See, you see what they're trying to do. They try to corrupt the youth, and Prophet taught on this many times. Amen. They try to corrupt yeah. the youth, and that's why we don't take our kids to no public school because there's all type of weakness out there. Now, here, now catch this part. They got the name. The name was called Pono Choice. Now, the term word pono was the Hawaiian word meaning uh, righteousness. So you see where they're coming from with this. Amen. They trying to say, trying to, uh, trying to say it in a way that uh, sodomy and lesbian behavior is righteousness. But show Bible for it. There's no Amen. scripture for it. That's right. The Bible says it's an abomination. If you go to Romans, the first chapter, the Bible says they which do such things are worthy of death. Amen. So you see what these sodomites and lesbians are trying to do. They're trying to corrupt the youth. They're trying to corrupt America by being clever. they blaspheming the word of God and coming to, uh, against the true church of God. Yes. That's why I thank God that we're in the true holiness church. Yeah. We're going to fight against them. We're going to rebuke them. And a lot yeah. of people say, well, uh, we judging them and all that. Yeah, we judge. We're judging according to the word of God. Oh, Not according to ourselves, but according to the word of God. If the Bible says you were their death, I'll tell you what the Bible says. I'm not saying what I'm saying. If the Bible says it's an abomination, I'm not saying it of myself. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord, so don't get mad at me. As a matter of fact, you get mad at God because he's the one that wrote it in the word of God. So you, you see all type of foolishness that's going on. And in Matthew 24th chapter, Jesus broke it down very plainly that all, all this stuff is going to take place before his return comes. And one of the apostles asked him a question. What is the sign? of your return. And he told them, many false prophets, wars and rumors of wars, Amen. earthquakes in diverse places, pestilences, uh, what else? I think that's about it. Many false prophets coming in my name and deceiving many. And you see that today. Yes. Deceiving Amen. many. All you got to do is come on the television set. Look at those mega churches. Right. Look how many people they got in the Joel Steen churches? Thousands of them. How many people you got in the TDJ churches? Thousands of them. Amen. I seen a sermon one time. This is before I came into holiness. Joe Steen was preaching at a baseball stadium mm -hmm. full of people, a New York baseball stadium. Yeah. And that's how many, it's just a shame how many people is going to the lake of fire. It's just ridiculous how many hypocrites just sitting there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just show you, brothers and sisters. God is coming back for a remnant church. Don't be deceived by the crowd. It don't matter how big the church is. and uh, how these preachers and clever they may be and how tough they may be. Uh, God said he is coming back for a remnant church. Matter of fact, let me close real quick. Amen. In Matthews, the seventh chapter. Going to bring this out very plainly. Now it says here in verse 13, Matthew's gospel, chapter 7, verse 13, it said, Enter ye at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many there be go which thereat. See that right there? 
Say yeah. another scripture said, "Hell has enlarged itself." Amen. So you see that the multitude is not going to make it. Now, verse fourteen, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few that be that find it. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, it's time to repent and come into the remnant church. Because it's the remnant church that Jesus Christ is coming back for. Pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen. And thank God for uh, the Christian Academy. Amen. Uh, we know a lot about the school system. And this is an evil. And people hate God. And they hate the word of God. A five-year-old girl. Say, man, get my daughter. In school in Florida. Before she ate her food, she prayed over her food. Trim a child the way you, that it should go. Five-year-old girl, pray over her food. Here come a lesbian. They didn't say, but I know she was. You can't pray. Little girl said, prayer is good. The woman said, no, it's not. Little girl, pray over her food, went home, told her mom and daddy. Mom and daddy put out the school, going home school, amen. But I thank God, amen, for a little five-year-old standing up to that lesbian. To this atheist movement, amen. They hate God so much, you're going to come down on a five-year-old child, amen. I'm showing you the hatred that people have for the word of God, for the prophet of God, for the church of God. We're going to go on strong in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we're going to turn it over to Elder Collins. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord again, church. Amen. Amen. We truly are having a wonderful time bringing out the truth. Amen. And the church of God is the church of the living God, the pillar Amen. and the ground of the truth. Yeah. Amen. So this is where truth goes forth. As a matter of fact, Jesus said that his word is truth. So this word of God is very important. Amen. Amen. The King James Version, not a watered down version. Like the NIV. Amen. Amen. I believe even at one time, uh, there was a man named Guy Fox who tried to destroy King James in the par parliament building at that time. Amen. Amen. By putting gunpowder in the basement. Amen. But God saw another way for uh, the King James Version to uh, uh, make it in which we read today for a reason. Amen. Because I truly believe and we believe that it is God's inspired word. Yes. Amen. Amen. And it's no surprise what goes on in the world, amen. Uh, like California, I, I've been talking about it on the broad, uh, radio blog, blog talk radio, amen, How's, how it's been shaken, amen. Even before these uh, recent shakes, amen, and I was just uh, making mention how uh, the world, they try to mock God so much, amen. Like in California, West Hollywood, I brought out that they have rainbow-colored crosswalks, amen. And as you know that the LGBT has stolen the colors of the rainbow for themselves. Right. And that has to do with uh, they could, gay pride is what they say. The LGBT. So they stole the rainbow. But as you know, that's, a rainbow is a sign from God that he will never flood the earth again. Amen. Amen. It's not to be put as a crosswalk in order to mock God. Amen. I believe the Bible says their organization is called pride. But the word of God said pride cometh before destruction. Amen. So they have this rainbow crosswalk in West Hollywood, and they just made another one in San Francisco in their sodomite and lesbian district, in the Castro district. Rainbow crosswalks. But we know that's an automatic token, which is a sign from God. Amen. When we see a rainbow. Amen. So it's really no surprise what goes on in the world, but we as a church family, we must tighten up. Amen. To examine ourselves, whether we're in the faith. Let me pick up in James real quick. James, the third chapter. It says, who is a wise man and a deal with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation or a good conduct his works with meekness and wisdom. But if he have bitter envy and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This word strife, amen, it comes from in pursuit of some political office, self-seeking, amen. They're trying to get ahead so you step on your brother or your sister. Amen. Strife in your heart. Envy. Yeah. These things are not to be, church. Amen. Amen. It says, strife in your hearts. Glory not and lie not against the truth. It says, this wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. Amen. What is confusion? I look this word up. It's disarray. Yes. It's commotion. Yes. Amen. The true people of God, there should be no confusion. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about even when we get in the parking lot. Amen. It shouldn't be no confusion. As soon as we get out on the street, it shouldn't be no confusion. Amen. Since we're a holy people. Amen. Look it up. It's disarray. Commotion. 
Amen. There's always room for improvement. Amen. And every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceful, gentle, easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits. Amen. What does the Bible say? You shall know them by their fruits. But we yes. must have good fruits. Amen. Amen. Without partiality and without hypocrisy. Amen. Amen. We can't point the fingers at anybody else, but we got confusion or strife or envy in our heart. Amen. 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 Got to tighten up. Amen. 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 Without hypocrisy. It says, and the fruit of righteousness is sown of peace of them that make peace. Yes. Amen. So God is the God of peace. Jesus Christ is the God of peace. Amen. And there's always room to grow. Be blessed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord again, saints. Lord. Thank God for all the comments that went forth. Amen. Thus far. I'd like to um, encourage the church. Amen. That... Um, you know, many times God will place us in situations uh, where we, even on our job situation, where you are with people, amen, who obviously don't know God. Uh, they're not saved, but they, uh, in many cases, will tell you how much they know God and how much they go to church and uh, they're saved just like you're saved. Well, you know, the truth of the matter is you have to live holy in order to be saved. Amen. You can't live any kind of way. Tell dirty jokes on the job. Uh Play the lottery, come Man. drink alcohol, they got, excuse me, alcohol in their breath, yeah. smoking cigarettes, yeah. amen, and you're choking, you don't smoke cigarettes, but you're smoking cigarettes, amen, because amen. you're choking on their cigarette, yeah. amen. amen. So uh, this ought not so to be, if you're saved, amen. I want to read the scripture in Second Peter, beginning of the second verse, talking about being on the job site and being around people who are not saved. We don't have to worry about those people, we have to live a light be a light before them so they can they may not come to church but they can see church in you hallelujah yeah. if you be obedient to the will of god in uh second peter 2 and 13 it says and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they that counted pleasure to riot in the daytime spots they are and blemishes sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you now this is talking about a church setting or people Amen. who are saved uh, in a congregation with people who are not saved. You got people who are not saved in a church setting, amen, but you don't know who they are. Don't worry about who they are. Worry about who you are, amen. amen. And this scripture here says, I have an eyes full of adultery and they cannot, well, that's, that's a bad one right there, cannot cease from sin, can't stop from sinning. Now, prophet brought out a scripture, and I'm, I'm bringing this scripture out because prophet talked about the situation that happened today at Fort Hood. Now, this, <clears throat> excuse me, it's Fort Hood. This is in uh, Colleen, Texas, amen. <laughs> They had a gunman, they say a lone gunman, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he killed, I believe it was four people, amen, or three or four people, amen. Now this is like unto the uh, 2009 situation uh, where this gentleman, I think it was Major Nada Hassin, uh, he was a, 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 a mental health psychiatrist, went on a shoot and killing spree, killed 13 people, and, and injured 72 people. Now he's been uh, convicted of that uh, crime uh, but now this both happened at a medical uh, uh, facility. The people supposed to be helping folks, killing folks. Amen. And I'm telling you, in the workplace, you got crazy people Amen. that have not been committed yet. Amen. But they're going to see Christ in you because you're saved. That's right. And while all this stuff is happening, uh, what, did, um, what did the uh, armed forces do? They got rid of don't, don't ask, don't tell. Amen. Men marrying men. Yeah. Women marrying women right now. And the government spending is just going crazy. They got a deficit right now they call $17 trillion, right? Yes. Now, this $17 trillion right now is because of supposedly, they say, the uh, income tax deficit, the trade de deficit. And these people are spending over $328 million a day. Amen. And somebody said that it's not a $17 trillion debt. It's a $70 trillion debt. Amen. So what is the problem? You got a problem. Rich getting richer. Amen. Amen. And uh, uh, taking the money off the backs of hardworking taxpayers. Amen. The liberals and conservatives, Democrats and Republicans, they won't, uh, they, 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 they want people to be uh, subjected to the sodomite and lesbian movement. Jimmy Amen. Carter making statements talking about uh, se selective abortion. Uh, is wrong, but what's really wrong is sodomites and lesbians, nobody get, having babies. Amen. Amen. You want to kill the girls, but you ain't 
Mr. Carter, you don't realize that the sodomite lesbian movement is trying to kill everything. Yeah. But God, amen, has a way of righteousness yeah. for his holy people. And that way is to, we got to hate the sodomite and lesbian movement like never before because this thing is getting totally out of hand. You can't love no sodomite and lesbian like you love a saved person. Preacher talking about nothing wrong with them, they all right. What's right about it? How insane is it for a man to want to sleep with another man? You know, animals don't have a problem with that. A dog will bite you, you talk about. You get with that, a male dog, get with another male dog. He'll bite you. He, and he don't want no male. He wants a female. <laughs> quick. Quick. Amen. So, I mean, we're just telling it like it is because you don't have no preachers doing that today. Amen. Pray my strength to the Lord. Amen. Over to Minister King again. Uh, and what I mentioned about the sodomites and lesbians. Uh, now you got commercials where the father uh, at, at the table with his daughters and they trying to pick out what soup they want to eat. And he got his, his fingernails um, painted. Amen. I tell you, the uh, other commercial, Chuck Guy, uh, Chuck Liddell, so tough. But he, he, he in a commercial, and then he get in the car, his toenails painted blue. But you a man, you tough, amen, showing you everyone is falling in line with this lesbian side of my movement. You guys going to fight the good fight of faith, amen, and to the rapture here, amen. Elder Peace Pound for remarks, amen. amen. Thank God for the panel, praise God. Pray the, Lord. Pray the Lord. I want to give honor unto Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life, Amen. and double honor to the prophet and the elect lady, Mother Walker, and to all the elders and uh, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, it is good and a blessing to come back to the family of God and to honor the family of us. Really missing the family and missing the prophet, my lady. Pray the Lord for her. Amen. Um, I don't have much time. I just want to give a comment of what is happening, even in the world. I'm from Africa. Things are not okay in Africa. The Americans and the Europe they are also forcing Africa to accept sodomites, Sodom and Gomorrah, and there's a lot of problems. But now. Uh, I'm very happy that I'm coming back to the Holy Church and to the Amen. Righteous Church and the family of God. Yeah. The world is deceiving a lot of people. The preachers are deceiving a lot of people these, these days. But God has chosen true light to be a true light yeah. to the world. Amen. And God has chosen the prophet to be a prophet of the day and a prophet of this time. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh, when you are listening of the world, uh, when I was ab about to come, preparing to come to America, I heard of the missile of the plane of, of Malaysia. 239 people on board perished. Yeah. Amen. So, this is a sign that Jesus Christ is coming very soon. Yeah. And we need to be prepared for his coming. Yeah. Because soon and soon, soon and very soon, he will blow the trumpet to call the living church to connect, to connect with him. Uh, I'm picking uh, verse 17. Let him which, which was on the uh, housetop not come down to take anything out of, the, out of his house. Hallelujah. Uh, I decided to come back to my family without considering what is happening in my country. But I say, no matter what it will cost me, but let me go back to my family, back to America. Amen. Hallelujah. So, for sure, let the people don't be deceived with this world. God is able to deliver you when you send the word of God. God bless you. Amen. 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 All right, the prophet. Amen. Thank God, the panel. We thank God, Elder Peace Bond. And again, we uh, thank God for all the Kevin family coming back across the ocean. We are so happy that we have uh, finally, uh, the Lord is using us to fulfill prophecy and to bring everything into fruition. God is soon to come. Y'all hear me? God is soon to split that sky. 
and catch away his church. And oh, what a day. Praise God, what a day. Until then, we got a job to do. We got to stand up and defend the faith once delivered. Jude said it was needful for me to write unto you that you earnestly contend for the faith once delivered. And that's exactly what we are doing. And again, we're trying to give a little warning here. Uh, Y'all be seated for one minute. In Colossians uh, chapter 1. And here again is a, another warning from the uh, Apostle of God. Uh, and it says right here, from verse 26. Even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Now, made manifest means revealed Amen. to his what? Saints. Saints Amen. means church. Amen. Uh -huh. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, whom we preach, warning every man, warning every man, and teaching every man, and teaching every man, Amen. in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Now, what's the teaching for? What's the preaching for? Amen. To present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. This is what it's all about. Try to rise up to that level where we can be acceptable in the sight of God. I thank God for all that has transpired. I thank God for the panel, again, for the coffee man, and I thank God for the sweet spirit being in the house again tonight. Let's be happy. Let's be about God's business. I said when I opened up, nothing matters but the kingdom of God. Nothing on this earth matters but what we do in the servitude of our great God. Material things don't mean nothing. Amen. It's the spiritual you Amen. that must give an account when we stand before that judgment throne. Amen. So let's work together. Let's work fervently Amen. for the kingdom. Amen. Put our heart, mind, and soul in everything that we do for the kingdom. Amen. Go on a job is for the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. If you work overtime, the money's for the kingdom. Amen. Not for ourselves. Of ourselves, we don't want nothing. The only thing we want is heaven. And a heavenly reward. A crown of eternal life. Amen. Thank God. Join in with Prophet H. Walker and True Life Pentecost Church every second weekend of each month. Saturday service will be at 701 Henry Street in Savannah, Georgia at 7.30 p.m. Followed by Sunday service will be at Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4 o'clock p.m. We're looking forward to seeing you and be blessed. Love Talk Radio.